hot, hot, hot. I can handle this heat. So hot? Yes. If you think this is hot, imagine this guy. What? <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are tackling a hot topic. What does heat do to the metal? Let's focus on aluminum alloys like 60, 61, 70, 75, 60, 82, and 20, 24. First, conductivity. Heat reduces it. Copper at 20 degrees Celsius has a conductivity of 58 mega siemens per meter. But at 200 degrees Celsius, it drops by 5%. Why? Huh? Hot electrons scattered more blocking current. This can mess up precision electronics if you don't control the temperature. Next, thermal expansion. Aluminum 6061 and the 6082 expand at 23.6 ppm per degree Celsius, while 7075 and the 2024 are at 23.4 ppm per degree Celsius. Double that of steel's 11.5 ppm. So, in mixed metal assembly, like in aerospace, heat can throw off dimensions. At 1661 aircraft parts at 100 Celsius might expand too much, causing issues. Section 3 Phase change and gain growth. Heat also causes phase change and gain growth. Still, at 727 degrees Celsius, turns from ferry to octanite, then martensite when cool. Boosting hardness from tools like gears, aluminum alloys like 1661 and 1775 get heat treated too. At 530 degrees Celsius and 480 degrees Celsius to gain strength, but overheating like 1682 at 600 degrees Celsius makes the gain grow in the drop strength. Quenching helps keep those gains small and strong, crucial for aviation parts. Conclusion Heat treatment is a balancing act. Hardness, toughness, and stability all matter. The tiny screw or blade is being through a fairy journey to get here. Need precision machining? We offer free design, free quote, and engineering solutions. I'm Nick. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.